G'day, g'day guys, welcome back to the True Footy YouTube channel for round four of this 2020 AFL season. This time at the stunning Adelaide Oval, coming off the back of a massive victory against the Cats in the dying minutes. Liam Ryan kicked the winning goal, um, so if you haven't checked that out, go check that out, even though I just spoiled it. And it is a huge contest today, Port Adelaide. We've actually never lost to Port at Adelaide Oval, um, ever in real life so that is a huge record that I don't really want to let slip today. Today in terms of team selection Kennedy is back into the side. I've also brought in Josh Rotham and Ben Johnson to my back line. Tom Cole and I think Will Schofield made way and Jake Waterman despite playing pretty well so far it makes way for Kennedy just because you know I don't want to play too tall of a forward line. Oscar Allen's playing as my second ruck slash forward. Um, and with Barras and Robham and McGovern down back, they're already a fairly tall side. So this is an intriguing battle today. Port Adelaide um, are an enigmatic side, aren't they? they? They're really good some weeks, really poor other weeks. Look at Jack Watts there, big orange bloke. Um, yeah, so this will be a really, really good game. I'm anticipating, even though we've never lost there, it's always a tight, tough game against the power. We've never really ever been able to sort of, I mean, I guess we've had wins over them, especially after the siren. I wonder if I can try and pull that off again today, that would be hilarious. Um, but they've always had a, been a side that's kind of had, uh, you know, he's always been good against the Eagles. And this is, that looks like a foggy atmosphere. It did say that this was going to be a twilight game with a bit of fog. It looks like it's pretty much night, but you can see in the background, it's a little bit unclear. All right, so should have Nick Nat starting in the ruck, and let's go Eagles. They don't mind a bit of a pass backwards into traffic. That is a bit of a glitch. And Archie, who's actually leading my leading goal kicker award with a stunning tackle in the forward of 50, and that, I think I've just got that okay, and that should be over the line. And Archie has broken the deadlock for the opening goal of the game. Oh, good pass inside 50. Westhoff takes the grab for the power. And I feel like Port Adelaide have the game on their terms after that first goal from me. Let's see if they can put pressure on the scoreboard. And that shouldn't make the distance. It's getting kept in. Tips it towards half forward. Oh, Petrocelli with a great lead and Mark playing a bit of a deep forward role today. Don't know why he keeps finding himself deep. I might need to adjust the settings. I really like him a little bit lower. I mean, higher up the ground up as more of a half forward. But he's nailed the kick. He's done well, playing well in this role that I just said he shouldn't be playing. The Eagles are two goals up. Must have conceded so many scoring opportunities just from passing it out of my back path from behind. Oh, that could be an early contender for one of the goals of the season that I've seen. Brilliant goal from Charlie Dixon on his left from just about 50 metres. Did his little spin. Shaved the beard for today's game. And it uh, is paying off. Oh, what a pluck from my boy, Shuey. Can he find Liam Ryan? He can. What a good grab. Contested situation as the Eagles search for the quick response. That is a very good kick and very good play from the Eagles from the stoppage with a quick reply. That's something that I've been good at. As, and that is quarter time. And it's been a tight tussle of a first term. The Eagles have been slightly better and it reflects on the scoreboard. Mind you, Port Adelaide have missed two gettable chances. So in reality, we should probably be all tied up at three goals apiece. Oh, it's got to be an opportunity here for Gaffey on his left foot, I think, with a bit of burst of speed, has kicked it. And the Eagles get a rare goal. Oh, there is a loose man out the back here for Port Adelaide. For whatever reason, all my players are forward. I did change my settings to tag their loose man in defense and I think that's left me a little bit exposed and Port Adelaide with the counter-attacking play have a chance. Oh, he has centered it. That was 
Well, a good decision really, because he's taking the mark, and Charlie Dixon, by the looks, is lining up for his second goal, and he is dominating the Eagles at the moment today. He's kicked it, a fairly simple goal, and it's back to an 11-point ball game. The Eagles with some overlap here. Oh, yes, high tackle, got away with that one there. I'm sure I got the handball out in time, but it's okay. Petrocelli lining up for what I think is his second goal, and this would make it 17 points, and the Eagles are starting to assert their dominance over this game. And here we go, the debutant Ben Johnson lines up for his first goal at AFL level. He's been tasked with a big job in the ruck today for whatever reason because of a glitch in the game. He's been everywhere on the field. He's gotten forward and in this contest kicks his first goal and all the players on the field rush to him. Not really, but... Oh, it's an uncontested mark out here on the wing for Jack Petricelli. Doesn't seem to have that speed he does in real life. But Liam Ryan has taken an unnecessary dive and the Eagles are starting to put the power to the sword. Oh, he's missed. That's poor. Jonas looking for options now. Decides to play on. Moves the ball out of defence. This is it off. Has a runner alongside him. And there it is. The Eagles make up for a poor miss from Liam Ryan and Jack Darling waltzes into an open goal. And oh, Petricelli takes the pluck. He finds Darling deep. Can he take the grab? He can. Oh, there is a loose player. Can JK take the uncontested mark? He can't. That is curious. And Liam Ryan with the quick pickup off the deck has put it through, not facing the goals, it says. Oh, the Eagles run out of time. That probably would have been a goal, I reckon, or am I getting overconfident there? And it is 43 points to the margin. The Eagles have brought an unmatched intensity to this game. Six more inside 50s, but it's resulted in seven more goals as the forward line have just been more potent. I've adjusted the settings, and I'm getting dominated in the hitouts. Not uh, in least, I'm sure, to a Ben Johnson having to play a lot of time in there. Uh, I don't know what's going on there. That's just a dumb gl glitch of the game. But we can look at the stats. Darling has eight touches, most on ground, and two goals. So he's probably sitting as our best afield right now. Charlie Dixon has battled manfully for the hosts. And Nat Nui sends the ball forward straight out of the center from the start of the second half. Darling, the man we were just talking about, who's best on ground, has taken a strong contested grab. And this should go through at post height. It does. Oh, Rotham, the man we talked about. But, oh, should Darling leave this to go through? It is Rotham's first goal. That was very unselfish play from Darling. Probably a little bit risky with the bounce there. But his first goal at AFL level is a beauty. He's absolutely shrugged off the opposition defender and busted through what was a magnificent goal. Oh, Motlop burns off and finds an uncontested Sutcliffe. Shuey from the tap has bust in for a fantastic goal out of the stoppage. And I do love myself a Luke Shuey goal. And it's back out to 55 points. Oh, that is a great spot up kick from Darling. Oh, he's been a monster in this game so far. And he has found, is it Josh Rotham? This is a foot race as she bombs the ball along to find Liam Ryan. He's got to think quickly and kick it on the fly. That should dribble through. And the Eagles are out to an 11 goal lead. This is getting embarrassing for the power. The Eagles have just been dominant and look every bit a premiership contender. Oh, that is a good handball back into the corridor. And there's no one there. And he can kick a simple goal. Miles Bergman with one of his first goals at AFL level. Not sure if that was his very first, but he's, it's certainly his first for the night. The first year player bangs home a fine goal. And Port fans suddenly have something to cheer about. Oh, 
Don't know how I didn't end up with that. I feel like that went through Darling's fingers. He finds what I thought was a loose man. And Archie, haven't spotted him for a while. Has he found Robin? No, he hasn't. He's nailed the goal. That was a very good goal from 50. And it's party time for the Eagles here. Petricelli. Oh, great smother. But somewhere he's got to kick that. And Cripps does. And center bounce. The Eagles are taking advantage of the Ruckman's ability. It's giving them first use at the stoppages and forcing oh, the positions into the And straight with the quick reply, the power get one back through Jack Watts. Straight from the clearance. That was impressive. must have double vision. Mays collects it. This game is slowly slipping away. Boom. And the power get a goal to start the last term. Is there any life in them? I think 64 points is probably too big of an ask. Oh, what a crap from Tom Rockliffe. It was a risky kick out of the goal square after the behind. He's taking a grab and surely, surely he doesn't miss this. He's nailed it. This should be a mark to someone. Rotham has bobbed up. He's definitely playing forward. So in, in this second half, he's kicked two goals. And this will be three should this go straight through. A great performance for the young man who's been given an opportunity today in the absence of Will Schofield. Should bring it back to an even 10 goals if he doesn't shank it. And he has not. And that is actually the game. I didn't realise that. That is full time. And the Eagles have been too good all day for a 10-goal win. Um, and I'm still a little surprised at how meek Port Adelaide were in response. This was on veteran difficulty, actually, this game. So, um, all in all, a very good performance from an accurate Eagles side. More inside 50s, had more disposals, more tackles. Hitouts I got dominated in for once. But overall, not too much wrong with that performance as we have a look at Luke Shuey earning the honours as best on ground. Finally, Liam Duggan was playing as a loose man in defence and Jack Darling had uh, a really, really good, strong first half. Liam Ryan also had kicked four goals. Liam Duggan obviously the most touches with 13. Darling probably stiff not to get bust on ground. And of course, John, Josh Rotham with his first three goals in AFL level was too good. So here we go and we look at the ladder and that is finally one of the first times almost every team has played four games. I think we must be the second game of the round this week. But we're on top of the ladder over the Brisbane Lions with four straight wins and a percentage of 167. But we have got the mighty Richmond Tigers, the reigning premiers, this week, Saturday night at Optus Stadium. Tune in to the next episode for this top of the table clash. i got a feeling we're going to have another belter. Thanks for watching, guys. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit subscribe. Otherwise, I will see you in the next episode. Cheers.